morning, you guys. We are trying to figure out our setup in this new place. So, welcome back to my new channel, or welcome back to my new channel. Welcome back to my channel, this is my new home. And I'm trying to figure out the best place to film for you guys. I actually have you on the cat tower right now, and Kitan just came in <laughs> and I can tell she's gonna crawl into this cat tower and it's probably gonna shake you guys. But um, we're trying to figure out, we're trying to get used to this whole new situation. But I think the lighting in here is really good. I just, I need to figure it all out. But anyway, I figured I would show you guys everything I ordered from Walmart. So you guys know I'm big on the Walmart Plus membership. This is not sponsored, but it has been a lifesaver since we moved here because we are living on the third floor now, as we've talked about. Yep, yeah, there goes Blossom. They're both going into the cat tower as we speak. <laughs> but um, it's been a lifesaver because we can have our waters delivered because we've been drinking. Uh, we do not like the water in this area, which you just don't realize when you're living in it. Oh, there she goes. She is gonna knock you guys over. <laughs> oh, what am I gonna do with these babies? Um, I guess I am using their item to film, <laughs> but it's the only thing that I have that's like flat that I can put my tripod on. And they've never actually seen this angle of the house before because I've never had anything that they could jump onto. So I guess I don't blame them. <laughs> but anyway. What was I saying? Oh, you don't realize how much you take for granted when you live in a good area that has like good tasting water. The water that they have here is like disgusting. <laughs> like it literally tastes like iron. I actually think there could be something wrong with it, which is concerning because we're obviously giving it to our pets to drink, but it just does not taste good. So we ended up um, just doing water bottles, which has actually been very good for our water consumption because we just didn't realize, like, it's so easy to just grab a water bottle and go where before, oh, now she's on the counter. She thinks she can be on the counter now <laughs> because she was up high enough that it was the counter. Did you just jump up there behind me or what happened here? Blossom, we can't be on the oven. We cannot. We cannot hang out on the oven, kiddo. I had a nightmare about her last night that she ran away and it was very sad. <laughs> but anyway, we ordered Walmart Plus. So anyway, it's been a lifesaver when it comes to ordering waters because like we have a bunch of them delivered at once. Oh, cat fur all in my hair, or all in my mouth now. Also, it's a lifesaver for ordering a lot of food. We, I'm trying to eat healthy this week, you guys, specifically this week, <laughs> but I'm gonna try and eat healthier and like cook healthier. The problem with that is that in order to actually have things cooked healthier I honestly have to be the one that cooks them because Dominic I just don't think he realizes <laughs> how much butter he uses in things and how much like stuff that is makes things so delicious I'm actually so excited right now because I know that I have a stir fry in the fridge that he made last night and like oh it was so good but the amount of like added things that he puts into stuff it all adds up, you know? <laughs> it adds up. So I'm gonna try cooking this week and we're gonna see how that works for us because you guys know, I don't really cook that often. <laughs> like I used to cook a lot more, but then I don't know what happened. I got in the habit of not cooking and I think that if I am to cook, I know what's going in to the foods. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that we got. This is just, I don't like you being over here. <laughs> I wish, I wanna move you guys, but then when I move you guys, like just the lighting is so much worse, right? Like look at that lighting compared to the other lighting. It's just so great over here. So we're just gonna leave you, I guess, for now where you are, but I just would prefer, it doesn't feel so weird. Like I feel like I'm standing in front of my window because I am obviously, <laughs> but the way our apartment is set up, like we're right across from other people whose windows are shut, mind you, but I just feel like they can see me talking to you <laughs> and it's weirding me out. But anyway, here's what I ordered. We have an array of things. I actually already put a bunch of the stuff in the fridge. So, ooh, it is looking crazy in there. We will pull that out as we go. So, this is everything that we got. So I ordered a bunch of sweet potatoes. So Dominic's definitely going to be like, what were you doing? Because I just didn't realize, like I didn't know you don't know. When they're the pickers, <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna end up getting. Because last time I ordered from uh, Walmart Plus, they, first of all, didn't get me any of my stuff. Like, literally, I ordered a whole smorgasbord of things to make, like, this um, cucumber salad that I always make for Dominic for lunch. And they didn't have cucumbers, so they didn't substitute them. I can't imagine they had no cucumbers in their store. <laughs> but they did not substitute the cucumbers. They didn't substitute something else that needed to go on the salad. So then, now you can't make the salad, obviously. <laughs> and then, not to mention, I ordered hot dogs for dinner one night, and I 
ordered buns, obviously, with my hot dogs, and they sent hamburger buns. So, you guys, calm down. Everybody's frustrated right now in this corner because <laughs> the cats are still not really getting along at the moment. Yeah, there's there's a heated debate going on because Keaton, for whatever reason, hates Blossom right now. I don't know why Keaton was loving Blossom when we first moved in, and Blossom was actually the one hissing at Keaton. But now there's a little bit there's a little tension down there below the camera. <laughs> but anyway. They gave me hamburger buns. Did I say that already? So that was very frustrating because obviously you're not going to eat your hot dog with hamburger buns. It was giving end of the barbecue and you don't have any more hot dog buns. <laughs> so we said, we're not doing that again. And I said, I'm just going to order from a different location because I feel like that was what happened was I ordered from like a neighborhood Walmart and I didn't realize I did that. And that neighborhood Walmart that's closest to our house is just really bad. <laughs> like literally they don't have anything. Everything that they have is like completely overpriced. So much more money than most Walmarts. So I ordered from a further away location and I just tipped a little bit more because I said, we cannot, we cannot not get any of our stuff. This time they didn't substitute any of it, but I ordered a shit ton <laughs> just in case because you know, you just don't know if they're gonna pick you out big honk and sweet potatoes or not. Like I was worried they were gonna give us the tiny sweet potatoes, but they gave us these massive sweet potatoes. These are going to be perfect. I'm planning on making a sweet potato um, nacho. Instead of using chips, you use sweet potatoes. And we've done it before, not nacho style though. We do like, we like to do like a sweet potato bowl. So where you um, bake a sweet potato in the oven and then you do ground beef and you just like kind of put it on top. It's like, it's, it's like a, dish I don't know it's it's delicious it's delicious I definitely recommend but we're gonna do nachos this week I think so I'm probably gonna film that for you guys in one of my vlogs just because I'm excited <laughs> I'm excited to be trying a bunch of different stuff but dang I got a lot of sweet potatoes one two three four five six seven eight I feel like I got them for something else too I just don't remember what it was now maybe I will have my mind my memory refreshed as we go I'm gonna change <laughs> sorry to do this you guys but I just feel too dressed up and the real problem at hand is that I'm all dressed up on top and I have sneakers on on the bottom <laughs> so I'm going to change I'll be right back with you guys I just um had to put sneakers on to walk Sunday after I got home and now I'm just feeling I'm feeling weird <laughs> so I'll be right back <laughs> okay you guys I suppose I did have the option of taking my shoes off but it's a real struggle <laughs> it's a real struggle because she did not go to the bathroom i know i'm gonna have to go back downstairs there's also bats in our neighborhood <laughs> which has been a whole thing because we you guys know we're like huge animal lovers and the bats just they're dying we think we're pretty sure they sprayed pesticide or something and maybe to kill the bats which would be horrible but they're just kind of like laying everywhere during the day i'll post it or i'll put a video for you guys Dominic tried to give them water and like the guy the, the guy <laughs> the bat like was drinking it. it was so sad <laughs> and like it's definitely dead we're pretty sure but then he left so we don't know maybe he didn't die but we're not sure if he is the one that's like sitting in our stairwell now there's like um this little bat's literally sitting right outside of our door now and it's just like so cute but also like sad <laughs> so well, why did I even bring that up? Oh, so I've been wearing shoes, not because there's bats, obviously, but like maybe so I can run away from them if anything happens because you just don't know. So that is what's going on here. My phone, my camera's dying now, apparently, guys. Let's see if this thing is charged. It's not charged enough, but we're gonna plug it in and see and see if we can make it work. I don't know, you guys. It says it's completely charged in the camera, but on here it said it wasn't charged at all. So we will see. I'm gonna plug this one in though so we don't die again. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, what was I even saying before I changed my whole entire outfit? I got um, Grey Poupon, Grey Poupon Dijon Mustard, which I also noticed when they were having me pick out my substitutions, that the things that they were having me substitute it with were cheaper than the things I was purchasing originally. And like, it was still Grey Poupon. <laughs> it was still the same exact brand of Dijon Mustard, but it was like a squirty bottle and it was the same amount actually it was more in hindsight this says eight ounces and that one was 10 i do remember that because i was like they didn't give me that option <laughs> like that wasn't a choice when i was going to order online but they used it as like a substitution choice which is going to be quite odd so anyway i ordered that to possibly like i don't even know why i ordered that to be honest you guys i don't know some of this stuff i'm not going to know why i ordered it because i don't remember the recipes but i'll have all of the recipes that i plan to make down below and if you guys want to see me actually make them stick around because i'll probably be making them in the next couple of weeks here okay 
So, what else did we get, you guys? We ordered more bananas, which we just bought bananas yesterday, apparently, <laughs> from um, Publix, but I ordered more. I mean, you can never have too many bananas, although I will say, this might be too many bananas. It's a lot of bananas, <laughs> but we'll see. I mean, they all look good. These ones are a little riper than those ones, so he's not gonna like them as much. Um, but I like a riper banana. Dominic just hates ripe bananas. He likes them when they're a little green, which, ugh, that sounds gross to me. But anyway, moving on, we have vegetable oil for some reason. I think, I have no idea why I ordered vegetable oil. But what I do know is that I also got a cake mix because Dominic is baking for one of his employees this week and it's actually his first time baking for them um like at this new location okay I also ordered um this which is a no sugar added tomato sauce because I'm making oh this is what it, this is for I just remembered <laughs> this is for the buffalo chicken pizza so I'm gonna try and make a buffalo chicken pizza and it set it called for this which I thought was weird because normally for buffalo chicken pizza I just do buffalo sauce but it was a healthy option so I was like okay I will follow your recipe to a T it's just the no sugar added will be interesting because you know I'm probably gonna have to add sugar of my own because it's gonna be very like bitter I feel and then I ordered refried beans because I'm planning on using these on the nachos that's what I'm planning on using them for but I'm also going to make chipotle bowls so I also ordered regular beans as well I ordered some orzo which originally when I was looking at the recipes I was like what is orzo like everybody's using it in their healthy recipes and then I found out that it is pasta it's like literally pasta so I don't know I was trying to get away from pasta because I feel like pasta isn't healthy and I feel like ever since we went to Italy <laughs> we've been eating so much pasta and like it's just not good for us, obviously. Um, so I'm trying to get away from it, but everybody had it in the recipe. So I said, maybe it's healthier version. Okay, and then we have our Valentina, you guys. Oh my gosh, if you've never tried Valentina hot sauce, this is where it's at. It's so delicious. It's our favorite. Dominic actually introduced me to it when we first met and like we don't use anything else when it comes to like Mexican food and like we've put everybody onto it because it's so good. There was only one substitute this time which is crazy because like I said at the last time but it's because of the location obviously but this location was 15 minutes away which isn't far if we're driving it. I just don't like to make someone else deliver it to us when we're 15 minutes away you know like it just doesn't feel right to me although I know they usually like stack the delivery or whatever but this is just cupcake liners which I am fine with I ordered just white ones but if that's all they have to substitute it's crazy um and then we got some chicken broth reduced sodium hmm. okay I was really going healthy there we did reduced sodium chicken broth and then I don't know why I ordered that you guys I don't know some of the stuff I'm just like why did I order you again buffalo sauce for the buffalo chicken pizza I got these olives for something that I'm planning on making don't ask me what they're just green pitted olives which they'll be interesting because I usually like I love green olives I used to love olives growing up until one of my friends from high school I'll never forget we went to um Subway and she told me that olives have really like a lot of sodium in them and I was like oh no <laughs> not that that matters at all to me personally but she told me that they had a lot of sodium in them so they're really bad for you and meanwhile I'm over here smorgasbord olives because I loved olives back then and then I never ate olives again do you know I never ate olives again until probably like a year ago I started eating olives again because Dominic was like okay your olive your olive di dilemma needs to change because they're so good <laughs> and he wants to put them in everything um but anyway we got chipotle whatever the hell these are peppers i'm gonna make the chipotle dressing with this if you guys have never had the chipotle dressing i'm sure you've heard of it it's so yummy and then green chilies for something i don't know maybe the chipotle bowls um and then another one of these just in case we decide to have multiple days or I decide to make a double batch. I don't know. I was going crazy with my ordering. <laughs> okay, and then moving on. Whew, this was a big order. Moving on, we have a, another ortho pasta. <laughs> So, because I was looking at like all these recipes that had them, I was like, well, we're gonna really like it, even though I've never tried it in my life. But I said, let's try both of these and see if there's even a real difference because 
there is a big difference when it comes to the amount you get this one is no is it they both say one pound oh no this was two dollars and this was one so i was like if we can tell that if we can't tell the difference we're always going to go with um great value and if we can tell the difference obviously we'll have to get the regular but who knows if we're even going to remember that that's what we were planning on doing with the two types <laughs> And then we got coconut flakes for the girls um cupcakes that dominic's making and i got self-rising flour for the dough because i'm gonna make like a healthy dough hopefully <laughs> um, i'm going to try and make a healthy dough for the buffalo chicken pizza um so stay tuned for that we will find out how good that is and then we got black beans for the chipotle bowls corn or no chickpeas for chickpeas oh for i know what these are for um they are for our lunches we always put chickpeas in our lunches you guys have seen me make that a few times i think on my channel and then i got tomato paste even though we already have tomato paste but i just ordered more because you can never go wrong with tomato paste and having it on hand is always a good thing okay and then lemons you guys please tell me please tell me these are the big lemons i will be so happy if they are okay they're good they're not as big as the last one they're definitely not as big as the last one but last week when we ordered lemons they were i'm talking like huge we have not seen lemons that big we looked at each other and we were like these are sicilian lemons because when we were in italy there are like these they're like huge look up sicilian or maybe i'll put a picture on screen they're massive and these are pretty big still but they're definitely smaller than the ones we got last week but those went bad really fast too we think it's because we put them in our cabinet um so that was kind of a bummer speaking of olives i ordered some of these olives for something else oh for the nachos that's what they're for and then um we got our limes that i ordered for nachos or for nachos and the chipotle bowl because we like you know we like mexican food and last week i actually did stuffed peppers and oh my gosh they were so good that's actually why i decided i wanted to start cooking more because i can do it like i'm good at it so i don't know why like i'm just afraid of it and when i get to be too much in the kitchen like like when things get to be too much i get super overwhelmed but you only get better if you do it like you're not going to get better if you don't do it ever so i'm hoping i've really ordered a lot of stuff this is a lot of stuff <laughs> it's like all in a pile okay so also i ordered two huge pineapples because why did i order two i think they were like 75 cents or something so i think that's why i ordered them but i also don't have like something to cut them so i'm gonna i'm gonna figure that out but these are pineapples and i also don't know how to tell if they're ripe or not um so i'm going to also have to figure that out <laughs> because these are supposed to be for our chipotle bowls i want to make pineapple salsa because there's this place around here that is called babacoo's burritos so i guess they're like chipotle slash babacoo burrito bowls but they have a pineapple salsa and oh my gosh it's so good and also dominic really likes pineapple so since we're gonna start eating healthier hopefully he'll be able to eat pineapple i just struggle to eat pineapple because i always get cold sores from them okay moving on to the stuff that i already put in the fridge and this is all gonna be weird too you guys like very weird i'm actually i'm not gonna turn you i was gonna turn you to look at our fridge but i kind of just threw them in there <laughs> so it looks a mess in there right now but i'll pull stuff out to show you so i got spinach oh i just remembered what i was planning on making it's like this um spinach orzo it's supposed to have chicken meatballs in it I, like i said i'll link it down below but i'm just gonna put chicken with it it looked really really yummy so um that's what i'm gonna make one night and then cottage cheese i don't know why i got this i really have no idea i think i'm supposed to mix it with ranch seasoning or something cottage cheese oh god thank god i was worried for a second because i couldn't remember if i brought our ranch seasoning but what's so crazy is that like we brought there's so many things we got rid of and then like we kept the weirdest things like we literally kept all of our seasoning <laughs> from our old place and moved with it and it was a very heavy bag it was like the heaviest bag we had okay i think i got too much you guys i feel like this will feed us for like maybe two weeks which would be nice but i also got some cauliflower because i read fried cauliflower meal sounded really good to me for some reason i don't know it's fried cauliflower and chicken i got mozzarella for the bowls and i just got like a big brick of it because i don't know it was cheaper that way and now we got butter and this is where we need to cut back <laughs> because we started using salted butter and 
oh it just is so much better than any other type of butter and we're also using real butter now which before we used to use the fake stuff that i actually think is a little better for you but my mom came to visit when we went to italy i think actually and she i actually do think that is when it was <laughs> she bought a bunch of real butter and then she left it and we ate it and we were like oh my god real salted butter is the most amazing thing ever and we've never gone back since because it's so good and like uh, it's just nothing beats it but it's so bad for you when you eat it the way that we eat it and then we got broccoli up the yin yang i just ordered like so much stuff i think i was just nervous that they weren't gonna have it or like i said you just don't know the size of the things that you're gonna be getting but i ordered six of these i think and they did a really good job like this is a pretty big broccoli stock so i'm pumped about it but i'm gonna make some broccoli i don't know what i'm gonna make with this I really wish I did. Let me look at my phone so I can actually tell you guys what I was planning on making with broccoli. I truly have no idea. <laughs> I went rogue with the broccoli because I think I was just thinking maybe some nights we'll just have chicken and a side of broccoli. And like fresh broccoli is obviously so much better than the regular broccoli. But that was kind of crazy for me to order that much. I don't know you guys, I'm crazy. So then I ordered Oh, this is seasoning, which was different. And all of the total for all of this was only, I think, like 115 bucks or something, which honestly feels like a lot. Like, I feel like I got a lot of produce for that price. And good produce. They did a really good job picking. I'm definitely going to order from this location again. So this is cilantro, maybe. I definitely ordered cilantro. And then I ordered, I think, oregano. Um which normally we just don't ever try to get. This one, this, oh, this is a cilantro. Cilantro doesn't look as good. Well, it doesn't look bad though. And it was cheap, so cheap. I think it was like a buck for each of those. And then we got roasted pepper hummus to go with the fried cauliflower and chicken meal that I plan on doing. And maybe potatoes or something goes with it. But I thought, well, I didn't think. The girl that did the recipe <laughs> said this would be really good. And in fact, when she said it, I was like, would it though? It seems like it would be disgusting. <laughs> but she said roasted red pepper is good with that. So we're gonna try it and see if she's right. And that's about, oh, I got, I don't need to show you guys those. I got six peppers. Oh, this, this was a weird thing. I think it's six peppers. I got nine peppers. <laughs> hey guys, I went too hard. And then this weird thing that I decided to get, which is corn. I got corn on the cob and I got eight of them, I think. Like I was having some sort of big party over here. Oh no, I got six. Okay, that's better at least. But I got eight corns just because again, you don't know how big your corn's gonna be. And I wanna use that in like a corn salsa for the burritos one night and maybe I'll do the pineapple salsa the other night. I just want to make everything taste like really good and like you're not like just eating basic things at home because you know it just feels like that sometimes when you're cooking at home um, and then I also got zucchini and that's it oh that's not true <laughs> yesterday I got some Greek yogurt from Publix because it was buy one get one so that is another thing that I got which I think is also going to make the ranch I really have no idea what I'm using that cottage cheese for I will tell you guys once I actually use it but my camera's dying so this is going to be the end of this video i believe <laughs> i hope you guys liked it i hope it gave you some sort of inspiration to kind of lean try to get produce more and find the right store to go to because like i'm telling you the produce from the other store too with the bad hot dog like the no hot dog buns was so bad like and that's what would happen to us in New York, or New York, <laughs> in North Carolina, was we really loved produce when we went to Trader Joe's, but when we would go to Walmart, our neighborhood Walmart, the produce was just so bad. But this produce looks really good, so I'm, I'm pumped to make these recipes with you guys and see what we think. But I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next one. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. <laughs>